Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. This video will be the ultimate guide to deleting silences and eliminating mic bleed for podcasters. Right, post-processing of your podcast. Uh, it's great when you've got three guests in a room, right? But they all speak into different microphones and all the microphones pick up the other speakers uh, even when they're not speaking. So you've got all the speakers on the other tracks. Terrible stuff, right? Then you've got a load of silences you want to delete out and often you have to do that in the multi-track and it takes you loads of time and there must be an easier way, right? Uh, yes, there is. And I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, so first of all, uh, you'll see here we've got Zoom track one, track two, track three, three mics plugged into a Zoom recorder, uh, picking up everything. So here's our speaker. <laughs> This is a foreign language podcast we're currently working on at MRC. And here are the guests picking up on the same microphone in the background. Not good, is it? The same with track two. Uh, yeah, here's our speaker. And there's the background pickup. Not good. And it's a similar story for track three. Speaker. Background noise. Uh, so let's conquer the mic bleed first of all uh, using either a gate or a downward expander. I have demonstrated this on my uh, channel before, uh, but here's how you'd set one up with uh, really nice accuracy. First, you select a portion of the audio where the speaker is not speaking, it's just background noise, and you go into window, amplitude statistics, you scan the selection you've just selected. It gives you a magic number here peak amplitude minus 14.59. Let's call that minus 15. And then uh, we go into effects, uh, we'll go into amplitude and compression, we'll go to dynamics, and let's for this one set default, switch on auto gate, we'll set the threshold as minus 15, the magic number we just found as peak amplitude in amplitude statistics. And just going into the preview window now, boom, look at that. Look at how clever that is. That gate now is only letting through our speaker and it's cutting out most of the mic bleed. Yes, there's a few uh, little bits here and there, but that actually might be our speaker kind of going, mm-hmm, or yeah, or whatever. And we obviously want to keep those in. So listen to how clean this is. No mic bleed whatsoever. How cool is this? And then eventually you're going to see the guest speaker will come in on their track. Okay, you might find that a bit aggressive, and if you do, just back it off ever so slightly, like so. Uh, and then again, let's just pull this in further so we can hear. Okay, so that's sounding really good, isn't it? And it's eliminated most of our mic bleed. We can then go ahead and do this on all the tracks. So if you want, you can select the whole track. Uh, it's just going to create a preview sequence down below so we can see that most of the mic bleed will go from this track. Look how clever that is. That's just stunning. Uh, so we apply it. Uh, it'll take a little while to apply, but when it's done, it will be worth it because you eliminated uh, most of your problems there on track one. You can then go ahead and do this for tracks two and tracks three, uh, and then you're uh, pretty much halfway there. But another common problem that often comes up is um, you'll get silences in between the speakers and just stuff that needs to be chopped out. And the traditional way is to start a new multi-track session make sure it's at the right sample right there. You drag all three tracks onto separate tracks, like so, and then you'd go through, wouldn't you? And you'd kind of edit it. You'd say, there's a silence. Let's edit it. Let's drag it in. Or maybe you'd even be uh, so clever as to say, do you know what? Instead of doing that, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to ripple delete it. So right click and we'll look, oh, where's ripple delete? Where is it? There it is. Oh, what's the shortcut? Oh, a load of buttons. Okay, <laughs> whatever. And ripple delete some budgets, everything up. Now you could do that. And you could take ages to go through and delete every little silence there in your podcast with two, three, four, five, six, seven guests, right? But that just takes a long time. And there must be an easier way. Well, uh, let's watch this. So I'm just going to actually get rid of these tracks now from the multi-track. I'm going to go back and I'm going to create a polywave. This is cool, right? What you can do is you can go new audio file. You can say, I want it to be not stereo, but I want it to be custom. And then you can say, okay, let's just delete these left and right tracks. We've got three guests here. So I'm going to label this channel one. And then I'm going to put in channel two. And then I'm going to put in channel three. And you can do this as many times as you want, up to 32 tracks, by the way. Click OK. And we'll call this podcast with three guests. And click OK. And now let's get rid of the preview window. We have one, two, three channels. One, two, three down the side. And now I can go in and I can copy and paste. So copy and paste. And then I disable track two and three. Hit paste. That's my first guest on track one. Then I can go to track two, command A or control A, 
Command C, Control C, copy that guest over to my new track. Disable track one, enable track two, boom. And again, zoom, here we are. Copy, all copied, back over here. Enable track three, disable track two, boom. Okay, let's get that all going on. And then really clever thing, deleting silence is automated in Audition by going to window and we're looking for diagnostics here. We're looking for delete silence. Let's go to uh, default. Uh, you can obviously change this. You can change your settings. You can find your levels and all of that kind of stuff. I'm just going to leave it, leave it as default. For example, scan. It's going to go through all three tracks, find silences in common with all of those tracks. Boom. There are all your silences. If that's the kind of work you'd spend up to hours doing in the multi-track, right? Editing out all those silences. Well, now with one click of a button, delete all and a few seconds for audition to do its bouncing beach ball thing and calculate all those silences in three tracks at the same time. It'll go through, it'll say, and I'll speed this up because it'll probably take a few minutes, but it's still shorter than you going through and doing it in the multi-track yourself, right? And there you go, ticks next to all of those fixed problems, 156 problems detected, 156 problems repaired. That's 156 times of your work reduced in the time it took you to go to the kitchen and make a cup of tea. Uh, so that's all done. Now you'll notice I didn't do the reduction of mic bleed on track two and three. I just simply didn't want to waste your time and do that. Uh, but obviously you would do that. So you'd have one, two, three clean tracks. And then you can do the fun editing, the stuff, you know, as a podcast producer or host that's producing your own show, uh, you kind of want to do, which is tidy up and edit out words and, you know, the fun things rather than deleting silences and reducing mic bleed and making edits. Now you can go into your multi-track session with that polywave that we created with three different tracks, we can actually access those three separate tracks by popping down this triangle here. Boom. Track one, two, three. They're all mono uh, speech tracks. And we can say, put in track one here, put in track two here, put in track three here. And now with your mic bleed sorted and your silences deleted, you have got just the fun bits left. And that is how Adobe Audition can save you time as a podcast editor, a podcast producer, and make you sound awesome uh, while just uh, making more cups of tea, I think. Anyway, go and enjoy a cup of tea. If this helped you, please leave a comment down below.